Okay, this video is a little different. What I did is sort of like Pulp Fiction. I took the end of the movie and I put it in the beginning. Because I wanted to get a lot out of the way just to kind of show you how I made the money I made. But I'm showing you after you see the money. First, you'll see the money. Then you go, oh, that's how we did it. A lot of people set up their videos different. I'm always trying different formats to keep everybody engaged and not knowing what I'm going to do with my next video. You have no idea how my videos are going to go. And I like it like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be static and everybody's, oh, I know what you're going to do next. Nah, this video is kind of dope. I like the way I set this one up. All right, I'm pulling the plug on my night. I'm done for the night. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do anymore. So I did the 126 on lift plus that $30. So about 156, 3.4 hour, three, about three and a half hours. Like I said, not even eight hours, 489, about seven and a half hours total. But that was during the week, of course. But like tonight, you know, I was just doing all these rides, plucking rides left and right. You know, online for three hours, driving around, you know, not really, because you know how Lux runs. So I probably drove about, I would say about two and a half hours on this. Two and a half hours, made about 126, plus the other ride, took me about 20 minutes. So that was about, let's say three hours, about 156 in about three hours. So that was roughly about 50 bucks an hour. But then the crazy shit was over on UberX, just how UberX was doing. They were just jamming the night. I wish they showed like actual, you know, driving time and not just online time. So I came out with 172, seven trips, 172. And I did that and I was only online about three hours with them. And I was driving around mainly on Uber Pet all day. So I probably drove, I would say about two hours, two and a half hours, $172, a lot of crazy trips. Like I said, when you look at these trips, the surge is just crazy. Look at that $14 surge on that one. This one, $5 tip with another $14 surge. Then you go down next. $20 surge with a $10 tip. Next, when you go down from there, that was where a router canceled. Some more cancels and shit. Another $20 surge. I'm telling you, look at that. $13 surge. $1 tip, $375 surge. Here is dollar tip, $2 surge. I mean, these surges were crazy. And that was all day. That was all day. And I didn't really start driving them until about 1128. So about 11.30, I started driving them, and that it was sporadic. Like, here's one, then one was right behind it, one was behind it. Just look at these surges, $13 surge, $20 surge. I mean, 1.4 miles, $28. This was getting crazy on Uber. Like I said, I was I must have drove like two hours on Uber. Made about, shit, $170 in two hours just fucking with them. Crazy, crazy. But, you know, so I did that. You know, the 172 plus a 30 on that Venmo puts it at... Um, 20 yeah 202 so that's 202 then you add the 126 on the lift app so you sitting around at about 328 dollars and i must only drove maybe tonight i would say about three four hours total that's it about three four hours total of driving it was nuts nuts but hey that's how it goes sometimes man we knew it was gonna be a crazy night now i'm trying to push no 10 12 hour days i get in get my money leave money on the streets for everybody else i take what i need and i don't get greedy with it and i get the fuck home all right last night it got down to what quarter of a tank and i went and i filled up before i came home it's full tank now with saturday night about to get started 905 parents weekend at asu colorado got stumped I ain't even seen the ASU score because I've seen enough trash for today. So let's go out and make this money. All right, let's see what we got. Let's open up Uber real quick. Like I said, see what, if I'm sitting in the surge somewhere. It's parents weekend, so I should be sitting in the surge. That's what I'm thinking. I haven't opened up these apps today yet. Just opening this shit up. Oh, we got surge. Yeah, surge is everywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Anybody, no, I just cashed out. Nobody tipped me from yesterday. I only did one ride yesterday. So I'm not in the surge, so I'm gonna kind of chill for a second. I'll probably turn on Lux to drive to the surge, just in case somebody try to give me something. Yeah, I'm sitting right up under the surge in Lux, of course, because that's how Lux operates. I go with nine dollars in tips came through last night because I cashed out last night, so nine dollars in tips came through. Shit, uh, been online for what? 13 hours, five of it only been like that. Okay, okay, shit. There we go. Five and a half hours, 362. Man, let's go out and get it. Lyft's got $48 on me right now. These raggedy motherfuckers. They're like, yeah, we got $48 on you. That's why I'm like, how's that keep going up? That's the thing, because I swear it was at 43 last night. I don't know. Maybe it was at 48. Who knows? But they that 
that lift estimated fee keeps going up like passengers keep paying more and more and more but i don't see my shit going up but i see that estimated lift fee going up so there's something going on shit i'm gonna find out i'm gonna get to the bottom of this shit but i got something showing up in amazon and as soon as it gets here i'm gonna let y'all know shit's about to get real in the veal i'm gonna head towards the airport but i'm gonna veer over towards tempe where all this pink is right there you see all those rides parents weekend everybody looking for a way to get out I guarantee there's a million Waymo's sitting over there right now. But we're gonna go around the Waymo's. We ain't dealing with the Waymo's. We're gonna see if we can't go out there and get, get money the real way. I'm just gonna see if they hit me up with something as I'm on my way over there. They might. They might. Yeah, we not doing no shit like that though. Fucking sixteen dollars? Nah, we cool on that shit. Make that twenty. How about that? Make that twenty. If you gonna send me away from the fucking surge, yeah, we ain't taking that shit. Cause there's probably a little surge. No, nah, it ain't shit over there. They was trying to just get me away from it. I thought it was a little surge over there probably. Now these motherfuckers got me going away from the surge for a dollar sixty a mile. <laughs> or yeah, cause it was sixteen dollars, about ten miles. So it was like, yeah, y'all, y'all really trying to do something, man. Dollar sixty a mile, not even two dollars a mile. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Make that shit like three, four dollars a mile, I'll take it. But so I'm headed over here by ASU now. I'm gonna see if I can start, if I can get a whole bunch of little short two, three mile trips, you know what I'm saying? $11, $12, make it four to six dollars a mile all night long. Let's see if we can do that shit. Got a full take of gas, feeling a little good, finna play some motherfucking Mary J. Blige. Shit, let's get it. Now I'm in the mix right now. Lux is trying to send me some rides. No, look at that. 23 for 32, 23 miles for $32. No, cool on that shit. I got, I'm gonna open up Uber on the other side right here. They sent me, Uber, I mean, Lux was trying to send me two nature hikes in a row. Cause they just tried to send me one that was like down to Queen Creek from where I am. And I was like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let's see what reservations they got coming up. Uh, 4.15 in the morning, what, $18? Nah, I don't want that. $18 for eight miles? No, I don't want that. $14 for seven miles? Where are we going to Northland over in Tempe? Uh, $24 for 24 miles. Nope, don't want that one either. Uh, $11 for 6 miles. Don't want that one either. Well, wait. Well, they sending a lot of shit right now. I'm going to scoot over real quick. I'm going to have to go park somewhere to fucking scout rides for a minute. Luckily, I got a red light because I can't see shit with all the... I'll take that 1229, nope. 1229 for like 4 miles. So I'll take that if they give it to me. If they don't, then I'll just have to... Yeah, they probably gonna give it to somebody else. Nope, they gave it to me. All right, bet, let's go. Let's turn off lift. Lift's done. Hey, we tried Lux. They, and I swear, Lux sent me two nature hikes back to back. One was the Queen Creek and the other one was the one that you saw. So yeah, if if Lux ain't playing, hey, UberX is paying. Let's do it. This is about a little over three miles, something like that, $12. Let's take it. Yeah, this might end up being a cancel because that's where I got to go right there. I got to go right there, but they're like way up here. So they've got to somehow figure out how to get to where I am. Or else I might just cancel this shit and turn on Lux and do a Lux ride. I'm about to find out in a second though. Because one thing I don't like to do is I don't like doing pickups where motherfuckers ain't. I don't like that shit. It's like they got to get to, oh, and it's fucking crazy traffic up here. Oh yeah, fuck this shit. Fuck this. Yeah, it's a game just ended. No wonder. Yeah, this is crazy right here. And the road is closed. Oh yeah, game just ended plus the road closed. Yeah, we done with this shit. Sorry about that, man. Get it. Yeah, I already closed it off real quick. Nah, that road is closed right there to get to where they are, so I just had to cancel that shit. I'ma go this way. A game just let out, so I'm not gonna fucking do rideshare right over here. It ain't number cars everywhere. It's all fucking traffic lined up down the street. Everywhere you look. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of this area real quick and I'm gonna go do rideshare right somewhere else. Fuck that. Get away from ASU. That's why all this surge is over here. It ain't number motherfucking cars everywhere. So I'm like, nope, not me, motherfucker. I'm, I'm headed off. It looked good at first, but now I know why it looked good. It was fool's gold, motherfucker. The road was closed. Where that little pin was, the cops had already blocked everything off. You couldn't get through. You had to go either left or right. So I made a right to start heading towards Mesa. So now I'm headed towards this way. That's the game right there. That was the event. It's the fucking ASU game. That's why it's all fucking crazy right there. It's like, yeah. So yeah, I'm headed away from this shit. I'm going this way. I know if I turn it on right now, I'm not gonna get nothing, so. I'll probably get surged, but it ain't gonna be worth shit. 
Let me go in here and let me turn on Lux real quick. I'm going to see if I can get a ride up towards Mesa or something like that, but I'm not going backwards. No, no. I got to get away from this area. This shit's crazy over here. And I know a lot of people are like, dude, that's how you make money. No, that's how you end up sitting around for a fucking hour to make one trip. And traffic like that, nah, that's worse than concert traffic. Gang traffic around ASU, you only got one street, university. Everything is blocked. So everybody's on university right now. It's like a parking lot on university. I ain't got time for that shit. So I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going over here to Mesa, see if I can give me some rides over here. Because no matter what the fuck they send behind me, I ain't touching that shit. Nope, nope. It's probably got shit at the airport and everything else. These motherfuckers, like I said, if they want to get a ride, $17 for that, let's take that. $17 for six miles, I'll take that shit. Hell yeah, it's not going toward there. Go pick up Kevin Spacey looking ass. <laughs> that motherfucker really did look like Kevin Spacey. Shit. Go over here and fucking be like, hey, man, we're going to fucking kidnap you, Jeff. Fuck that shit. Kevin Spacey's a kidnapper. No, nah, but I'm going to go over here real quick. Pick this motherfucker up, get my 17. He's just on Apache. All right, let's do it. Had to get away from that crazy traffic. That shit wasn't worth it to me. Spacey, y'all, he was a cool dude, man. He was like, he was like that picture looked like a like an older white guy. That was like a spoof picture or something like that. He was actually like a young kid, probably about 23, 24. He looked like my son. He had like fucking real like woolly hair and shit. All his hair on his head and everything looked just like my son. Came out with a big ass weed shirt on. It had a gold weed leaf on the front. We was cracking up. I said, dude, you came dressed for the occasion, didn't you? He was rolling laughing. He says, man, I ain't never been picked up in the Beamer. I was like, well, shit, man, you dressed for a Beamer, man. You got a big-ass weed shirt on and shit. He was laughing like a motherfucker. Now I got to go pick her up, Emily up. But check this shit out. So as I'm driving them, there's a ride to Eloy popped up. It was for $62. Eloy is far as a motherfucker from Phoenix. I don't know where Eloy is, but it was $62. I was like, hell no, decline that motherfucker quick. I was like, man, shh. That's why I wish I could leave this thing running as I'm doing rides because sometimes they throw me rides as I drive. That Eloy ride, that was easily 62 bucks, probably over, well over an hour. But that means when I get to Eloy, I got to turn around and come fucking back. So two hours for $62 basically is what I'll be getting paid. Six, $31 an hour to drive somebody way the fuck out all the way back on my gas, driving the whole time. Probably well over 100 fucking miles maybe. I don't even know. 100 something miles of driving for $31 an hour. And then I got to turn around and, and use my own gas doing that shit? Fuck no. Because somebody in Eloy is here right now needs to get back to Eloy. So I left that shit for them. I had to turn the recording off. Somebody pulled up bumping some Lil Wayne. I don't want to get copyright flagged and shit. No, but yeah, and I was going to say, you know, I'm going to pick. I saw that ride, you know, that's, that's $31 an hour on my own gas going an hour away and then all the way back. I'm going to use like probably a fucking quarter of a tank, quarter of a tank of gas just to make $62 and I can use a quarter of a tank to make almost $200. So I'm a $140 variance right there. Plus I'm out of time, out of the shit. That's why I don't fuck with these long ass nature hikes, man. It's a waste of your time. If they ain't paying you for it and for somebody to pay for that ride, they probably paid about $200 for that ride, $180, $200. And all you getting is $60 for that motherfucker. It's like, no, leave that shit alone. Leave it alone. If, if they want a ride, they need to get a charter service. They need to call a, a Uber Black or something like that. Be like, hey, man, we'll dump you 200 Instead of giving Lyft 200 we'll give you the 200 Take us home. They need to come up with some shit like that. But these motherfuckers, they don't understand. These apps ain't paying us. They keeping it, calling it the service fee. They keeping all the money, calling it the service fee. So we don't do shit. We don't do it. Even when I see these little $3 rides, $4 rides, I don't fuck with those. Because I assume right off the bat there's four people. And I wish they told us on the app in like a little red number or something on the screen how many motherfuckers was coming and, and be and keep it real. You know, if a motherfucker be like, hey man, I got four passengers with me, because that's that's driver safety. Let us know how many people we picking up. Throw a little red four in the corner, a little red three in the corner, a one down in the corner for one person. You're only picking up one person. Let us know what our payload is before we get there. Because we pull up, I'm assuming every ride that come through, I'm assuming it's four people. That's why I only take fucking rides that got good money. Because I'm assuming it's four motherfuckers because they won't tell us how many people it is. So I'm going to have that assumption. I don't want to pull up thinking, oh, four dollars is probably just one person. Pull up and it's four motherfuckers standing there. Now you're doing four people for four dollars. Loading your car up for less than bus fare. Because each one of them, if each one of them paid a, to get on a bus, they'd be paying like 12 to 13 dollars to get on a bus. Yet you get a nice ass car and you give them all a ride for four dollars. Fuck that. I'm assuming right off the bat this is a full payload. So if the money ain't there, decline that shit right off the bat. Always assume it's a full payload. What the apps need to do is tell us what is our payload. What am I, because that's like sending a, a truck to go pick up a load, but you're not telling that truck what's on the load. What kind of shit is that? 
It's like, you need to at least tell people if it's gonna be a full flight or not. Let me know if it's gonna be a full flight. Don't surprise me and I show up to the plane like, damn, we got a full flight. Now let me know up front. We sold all these tickets. This is how many people is on the plane. Cool, now I know what I'm showing up to. But in ride share, they don't give a fuck about you. They'll be like, hey, here's a ride for six bucks. You show up and this four motherfucker standing there. It's like, no, no, not for no six bucks. Nope. It's like, jack that shit up. Each person need to fucking be identified on that app. When you say, hey, I need a ride. Cool, get a ride. I'm taking three friends with me though. So it's a total of four. Okay, we're gonna increase the service fee because there's four people getting the service now. Not one person getting the service. It's four people getting the service right now. And the app, of course, is gonna try to keep that shit and call it a service. Well, we're servicing four people. No app, you're not servicing four motherfuckers. We're servicing four motherfuckers in our car. We should be getting paid for four people in our car. Instead of getting one $3.85 ride to pack four motherfuckers, nah, fuck that, cancel and drive the fuck off. When they start wondering, why am I never getting picked up when I got four people? Because we don't get paid for four people. So we ain't taking four people. When the money's right, we'll pick up four. The money ain't right, we ain't doing it. And tips ain't guaranteed, so hey, there you go. If you ain't guaranteeing tips, we ain't guaranteeing trips. That's just how shit work. Here I am, I'm back near Tempe. That was a pretty easy ride. I only did, what, two rides for the day. 36 bucks out of two rides. Oh, one tipped. What, what? Oh, that was my first one. Cool, that's what's up. So, then my man tipped me 21.65 for six miles. I love it. He hooked me up with a tip. That's what I'm talking about. Then let me see, the next one, the one I just did right here, Miss Emily. Wait a minute, damn it, come on. This one there, that's the one I just did right here. So that was right around the corner. So now I'm right back just south of ASU and everything. So six miles, 12 bucks, about $2 a mile. I could deal with that. So I did a couple of rides real quick, $2 a mile. My weekly breakdown, I'm still looking good. Drove six hours, $3.99, almost at 400 bucks. If I can get up to 420, 420, I need like, I need like what, 30 more dollars. Give me 20, 30 more dollars, and now I'm up to $70 an hour. I just gotta get to 420. That's six hours of driving, you know, $70 an hour is possible, but it's hard to do. It's very hard. And people think that shit's easy. I'm like, no, it's hard because you're going to get a lot of small good rides. Sometimes you got to wait on people, shit like that, but it's okay. $21 for that. No, I don't want that ride. No, that's $21 for like 14 miles. I don't want that ride. That's too far. But I was trying to see what the fuck Lyft was making money. All right, let's go through here real quick. I'm gonna go sit in this parking lot over here so I can scout rides for a minute. But now lifts down to $39, so they lost seven bucks somewhere along the line. I don't know where they lost seven dollars somewhere because I'm picking up all these little small surges and shit like that. But so I'm right in the mix of everything right now. I'm gonna go sit over here by Canes. Now where am I at? Oh, I'm just below. All right, let me drive up a little bit. Let me drive up a little bit, then I'm gonna grab some surge and I'll sit sit in the surge and do something like that we'll see what we can do but in the meantime now i got a little surge that's what i'm talking about i might turn uber on real quick let me see something let's see what uber talking about these raggedy motherfuckers over here in the goddamn cafeteria hope tonight they ain't serving no motherfucking mashed potatoes they tried to get me already they tried to get me Woo! they lit up every fucking word let's turn this bitch on let's see what we got they're probably gonna make me take a picture in a minute because they're gonna say this motherfucker can't be the same $10? No, ten, fuck that. $10 for 12 miles? No. I don't want no reservation either. I'm, I'm not doing these reservations right now. Let's see what Uber's talking about. Lyft's talking about. $10 for that? Man, what the fuck? Let's accept that. Alright, I'm gonna U-turn right here and go back the other way. Alright, I like that. Let me hear him turn Uber off because Uber's on some shit right now. They got a lot of UberX share going on. Let me hurry up and turn them off real quick. Come on, goddamn it! Open up. See, they won't let me close them. They keep doing that shit. They get to a point where they start freezing the app up. They won't let me close them down because they want me to fucking do shit. They want me to be back online. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna head it over to Pier 54, picking up Lord knows who. I can swipe up to see who it is, but I don't want to expose their motherfucking address if they going home. I don't give a fuck about addresses of places. I mean, anybody can go to a fucking place, but when you start looking at people's house addresses, you gotta start blocking that shit out. So like, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, I ain't. I ain't gonna have motherfucker like, wait a minute, I just found Gertrude. That bitch got my dominoes. I'm gonna go get my dominoes from Gertrude. I saw that bitch on YouTube. Just try to set me up with a with two rides over by ASU back to back. And I'm like, nope, going the opposite direction. We had $30 to go. 20, nah, I'm cool on that shit. 22 miles for $30. 
nope, <laughs> doubt it, shit, try that shit, give me like 46, 47 dollars, like fuck that shit, we not going that far for that price, nah, that's not enough, not enough, you gotta get that price up a little bit, 46 to 48 dollars, I would've took that, 30, nah, it's not enough, it's not enough, like I said, especially for nature hikes like that, you gotta give me at least two dollars a mile, like I said, I only did these three trips right here, that was my last one I did right here, and so that was what, three miles, 10 bucks, about $3 a mile. So I'd rather do $3 a mile than a bunch of $1 a mile fucking rides. So like I said, I'm not doing that shit. They just gave me a ride over by ASU. It was at the hotel, going from one hotel to another hotel. Look at this, $21 for 12 miles. Where are we at? There to there. Oh, $21, let's take it. All right, let's take it. We can do that, $21, this is almost $2 a mile. Hopefully they'll give me a tip and we'll do something with that. But it's like, that's close enough. I, that's 12 miles, $21, I need three more dollars to make it $2 a mile. So if I can get a $3 tip on this shit, cool. Somebody already tipped me $3 a day anyways, but I need another $3 tip. Give me another three fucking dollars. That's all I need is three bucks. Motherfuckers be like, dude, you be tripping off of $3. You motherfucking right. $3 goes a long way when you keep adding that shit up all year long. <laughs> Just think, if you had $1,000 $3 tips, that's $3,000 fucking dollars right there, man. It's like, that's a three... And that's free $3,000. If you get $1,000, $3 tips a year, man, I could do that shit, but I would rather have more, but it's like still, I don't trip off $3, because that shit sometimes be adding the fuck up. And I'm, I wanna see how much people are tipping. That's why I got my new shit coming. Y'all gonna see what my new shit is. They're gonna be like, damn, because I'm done with these fucking little percentages and $1 and I'm fuck all that. Fuck all that. And I ain't seen a $1 tip in a minute from Uber. I ain't seen a $1 tip in a while, Lux either. But I don't know what the fuck is because they had a whole period where I wasn't getting nothing but one dollar tips all the fucking time. I stopped driving those motherfuckers now I don't get shit. <laughs> it's like, they saw I was complaining about this. Like, motherfucker, I know they ain't tipping a dollar. They tipping me nine dollars and ten dollars and you motherfuckers is keeping the money. Don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with my money. Get that quick ride right there. So that was that one I just did. Still only got one tip. That was that Lux ride right there. 12 miles, 21 dollars. But... Like I said, I'm, I'm aiming for $2 a mile tonight. Tonight's my $2 a mile night. So hopefully, you know, I get tips and everything like that. Anything over $2 a mile is perfect. Let me see what I'm doing is per hour. I've been online six and a half hours, 4.30, not bad. I'm not quite at $70 an hour, not quite. I'm probably around about 65 to 67 right now. 6.5, 4.30 divided by 6.5 is what I'm at right now. So it's not quite $70 an hour. I'm probably around about 65 to 67. But I think I can get there. What is Lyft doing? Lyft's made $61. Okay, so Lyft made 61. They stealing my fucking tips. These raggedy motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like shit. I'm end up getting there. I, I swear I can't wait till my Amazon shit come in. Because shit's about to drop. Lyft's going to be mad as a motherfucker when my shit come in. Hey, I just got a tip. What, what? $8. Thank you. I was just talking shit about you raggedy bastards. And y'all going to give me $8. They probably gave me 10 So let's see something. So that was... It was at 48, right? It was at 48. I mean, 61. All right, we're at 61 dollars. That's where they're at 6109. That's what they're at right there. All right, they stealing my tips. Customer paid a little more. I got my tip in there. They probably stole a little bit of it. Old raggedy motherfuckers. Thank you, thank you, Stacey. I appreciate that. Cause now 29 dollars 12. I'm over two dollars a mile. I'm right where I want to be. I'm over two dollars a mile. Cool, cool. Appreciate that shit. Man, you guys are awesome. Tonight is a good night. Tonight's a good night. $75, how long have I been on road? An hour and a half? Not bad, not bad. I gotta get back up here to this, you know, I'm just below everything, so if I can get back up here near Guadalupe, pick up some of that surge, I can start doing more rides. Let me go inside a fucking cafeteria real quick. Oh, uh, we were talking about the Jeep. They got dogs, and they are like, we need a Jeep. I was like, only one of my dogs riding a Jeep. The pit bull can ride in the Jeep. The rest of these dogs are fucking crazy. It's like, I tried to do the, yeah, I'm not turning on, nah. They got they got it all around me. They got Surge all around me, so I'm not turning on no fucking Uber. Fuck that shit. If I'm not in Surge on UberX, I don't do UberX. Because these motherfuckers will try to give you at 60 cent a mile, 50 cent a mile. It ain't even worth it unless they got Surge. So I just keep that shit turned off. I mean... I can use it for a dollar amount to get to where I'm getting to. If somebody down here need to go up there, I just don't feel like fucking with them right now. Because a lot of times they lock my phone up. 17, what was that, like 28 miles? How far is that? Yep, 27 miles. I knew it, I knew it. About 27 fucking miles for that. I said 28, that's just 27 fucking miles. 
That's goddamn crazy for $17. Man, they fucking nuts for that shit. That's why I live don't get no fucking love. Lux, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. It's almost $2 a mile. Almost $2 a mile. We can go up here and pick up Madeline. Hopefully, let me see. She's not in the surge zone. And Lipton, that's why I was headed toward the surge. I wanted to get some surge on these fucking rides. And they gave me the ride before I got to the surge zone. But I'll pick her up. Hopefully, it'll drop me off in the surge zone. We'll go from there. So that was a weird ride. Let me park right here. My app is off right now because, and you see my amount never changed. So I get to pick up Madeline. I get there and I'm like, hey, you guys are going to uh, Champ Sports. She's like, yeah, we're going to Champ Sports. I was like, it's one at the mall? They put the wrong Champs in. So it was, the reason why I was so close because they put it at Champ Sports at the mall. Now the Champ Sports at the mall was the Champ Sports shoe store, not the Champ Sport Club way over here in Gilbert where I'm right now. I was well up, so she says, well, I'm going to do the change. So she says, oh, my God, it's $55 for the change. I was like, what? I said, yeah, they're trying to be $55 for the change. Now, it's about probably 10 miles. So I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to do a 10-mile ride, and they're going to, instead of paying me, you know, $10, they might pay me like $18 for the fucking ride. So I said, I'll tell you what, here's my card. I'll uh, just hook me up with a Venmo. So she Venmo me 30 bucks. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'd rather do that shit. Uh, thank you, Miss Madeline. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Miss Madeline. So, yeah, she just sent me 30 bucks, and that was it. That was it. And I'm like, because I instead of going through the Lyft app, having them pay 55, because Lyft fucked me up with that shit last time. They fucked me up with that last time. They charged somebody money, end up giving me fucking 10 extra dollars, but had me going 10 extra miles. I went 10 extra miles for 10 fucking dollars when they added that $50 stop. I wasn't letting that shit go down. And I told y'all on that last video, I'm not letting these motherfuckers do that to me again. So I told, I said, well, I'm going to cancel the ride right now because Champ Sports Shoe Store is at the mall. That's Champ Sports Shoe Store. They wanted to go to Champ Sport Mall. I mean, Champ Sport, the nightclub, not the fucking mall. Champ Sports is a bar. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to cancel this shit because I'm not going way to Gilbert. No, not for the money they talking about. Where well, they're talking about charging me $55. I was like, yeah. And they're going to probably give me like $10. So they paying me right now, you know, $10 to take you over to the mall right here, two miles up to the mall. They pay me 10 bucks for that. But yet they're going to give me another 10 to take you 10 miles down the road. That's why we got to do it the way we do it. Sit and talk to your fucking customers, work out a better deal. So I was like, nope. I'm going to get my motherfucking money, goddammit. So I ended up getting $30 instead of $10. <laughs> it's like, but I had to go 10 miles to get it. So now I'm down here. I'm probably going to end up, you know, throwing an app on because it's, it's surging down in this area. But before I do that shit, oh, damn, this is no outlet. Oh, fuck, wrong turn. So I hate coming over here, man. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm down by the party district and shit like that, getting stuck in some areas. But yeah, sometimes you got to just talk to your fucking people. Talk to your people. Cause like I said, I wasn't gonna sit up there and do this long ass month. Let them add a fucking stop in the app to a place that I wasn't going, and I end up getting an extra ten fucking dollars to go ten miles, like they got me last time. They had me going fucking ten more miles. Like man, fuck that shit. You ain't giving me a dollar a mile on Lux. I'll do this shit my fucking self. And that's how we lock that shit in. You know what I'm saying? Lock the deal in. Secure the fucking deal. I'm about to go north in a minute. This is where all the surges. Like I said, all this gaming surge back there. I'm trying to stay away from that shit. What about this $23 ride? What's that? Damn, almost 40 fucking miles for 23 bucks. Shit, doubt it. Fuck that shit. I know Lip is mad as a motherfucker right now because Lip is like, wait a minute. He's actually in the area of that ride that she was going to add a ride, but she canceled it. You fucking right. Because I'm like, and I was supposed to be way at the mall over by Tempe because that's where that ride was taking me to. And I was like, nope, not fucking happening. Doubt it, motherfucker, doubt it. I'm not doing this long ass fucking ride for no little eight, nine dollar, ten dollar markup. No, fuck that. Pay me. If I'm doing the service, I need the money for it. And the service that Lyft was doing, fucked up. They sent her to the goddamn shoe store at 11 o'clock at night. No, we're done with that deal. We doing something different. Let's open up my Uber app to see what was going on. And of course, I'm not in the surge. No matter what I do, every time I open this app up, I'm not in the surge. So I don't turn this motherfucking app on. Nope. Not till I get into a surge area. And it's been like this all night. Like you'll see that I ain't made no money today. My last trip was 16 bucks. 
that was that two mile ride. You know, I had a eleven dollar surge on that shit for two miles. This and that. If there's no surge, I don't turn my fucking Uber on because Uber's full of shit. Because even with surge, they fucking shit on you. So I'm smart enough to know not to fucking turn my Uber app on until you get some surge, especially on a night like tonight. Because they're gonna want to make their money on a on stupid driver. They're gonna be sending out 50 cent a mile fucking rides like crazy to see who's gonna take this shit. So once I get into a surge area, let's go like this. Let's go Uber pet real quick and let's turn this motherfucker on. And we'll see if they'll end up locking me into some surge. Let's see what kind of reservations they talking about. Four in the morning or something like that. 6 15, 20 bucks to go six miles. It's from downtown. No, I'm not gonna be out that late. Nope, nope, cool on that shit. So yeah, I'll come up here and see if I can hit this 550 right here. But yeah, they most of they surges is fucking garbage tonight, man. It's like all night they've been trying to get people to go over by ASU. And I've been staying away from that shit. I've been way over here. I can still got Lux running right here. Hey, I just got tipped. Wood, wood, five bucks. Who tipped me five bucks? Wait a minute. Got three tips, four rides, three tips. All right, that was eight dollars right there five dollars right here okay i see you i see you is that 19 dollars for six maybe that was my very first ride was five dollars let's go down here uh where is it at 393 okay so that was that five all right so that's what it was right here had to be that five all right bet bet i see what we doing what 6.19 so almost three dollars a mile yep i'll take it i'll take it that's what I'm on tonight, $3 a mile, $3 a mile, hour 43. I'm running at what? 6.5 at 4.43, six and a half hours at 4.43. Got this motherfucker running. Like right now, it's still running right now. Like I tell motherfuckers, I leave my app running. If it's money, I got a 375 bonus sitting on that. I ain't got shit sitting on Uber probably. 250 on Uber. All right, let's go try to Uber pet this motherfucker, see what they talking about. Let's Uber share this motherfucker and see what they talking about. Give me something that's about two, three miles. 10 bucks. There we go right there. I just asked for it. 1034. That's about four miles right there. Let's see if they give it to me. What's these other ones looking like? All right, where are we at? Let's go. It's probably right behind us. Quit fucking with me. Come on, goddammit. Yeah, it's right. It's right ahead of me. All right, Julie's right ahead of me. Wait a minute. Gilbert. Oh, she's behind me. Never mind. All right. Let's try something real quick. So let these cars go by right here. And I gotta actually whip this motherfucker around. I was just down there. Now I gotta whip it around and go the opposite direction. So let's go back down, pick up Julie. And that's what I was looking for. I was like, give me like two or three miles for 10 bucks. They give me four miles for 10 bucks. Same fucking difference. What's, what's Liv talking about? Oh, hell no. What's that, 32 miles for night? No, fuck that shit. These motherfuckers is nuts. Fuck that, turn that shit off. Let's get off Lyft for a second, because I'm doing Uber right now anyways. Let's get off Lyft. Those motherfuckers is tripping. They're trying to send me way the fuck out there. Like, no, nah, man, I'm cool on that shit. Motherfuckers talking about some goddamn 20 miles for fucking... No, no, fuck no. Over like a dollar a mile. That's why I don't fuck with Lyft sometimes, and that's Lux. I'll turn that shit off sometimes, not even fuck with it. I'd rather just do UberX for a while while I'm in this area anyways. Like I said, I'm going to make cash rides tonight. I'm going to do app rides. Whatever it takes to get this fuck, fucking money. Let's get this money. Real quick trip. I had to turn my app off because Uber was sending me a bunch of garbage, man. They were sending me like 16 miles for like $10. I was like, man, y'all chop my motherfucking mind. 16 miles for 10 bucks. They wouldn't give me no certain. I got 375 on the next one. I'm not doing no reservations right now. Whoa, shit. Hit the button wrong, wrong, wrong. My bad. Uh... Sorry about that, Daniel. I accepted that by accident. I was just about to touch my screen to see the reservation, and these motherfuckers try to give it to me. Let's see. What is that? Five miles. 17 for 11. Seven for that. 15 for not. Nope. None of those are good. I don't like none of those. So that's at 5.40 in the morning. Nope. $17 for that long-ass nature hike. Nope. Not doing that shit that 15 miles 16 miles for 17 dollars nah i'm not doing that reservation either that reservation is not set up right because it's 5 40 in the morning i don't think i'm gonna be out at 5 40 i think this is like last time i kind of called it early 11 miles for 11 dollars would have 375 surge definitely not definitely not all right let's see damn it where are we at 
1043 for her six miles. Where are we at? Let's take it. I'm going that way anyway. Let's take that. Carrington, yeah, I'm going that way because I'm headed back towards ASU. So I'm going to take this real quick. That's gas money headed back to where I'm headed to. Because like I said, if, if it was going in the opposite direction, I wouldn't have took it. Ten bucks going in the opposite direction? No, I would have canceled that shit. I would have declined that. But because it's going towards Tempe, towards my house, I'm going to take the ten bucks because I want to be in that area anyways. I'll turn Lux back on when I get back over there. Because Lux is probably booming. Like I said, it's parents weekend. A lot of good rides probably sitting over there. So I'm going to head over there and pluck rides all day. 1057, there we go. And guess what? I'm sitting right by a $13 surge right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an Uber Pet real quick. Bam, bam, move that shit over. Like I said, so I'm going to go down here and see if I can get this $13 real quick. I mean, it's like literally right down the street from me. So, and that one's to the west some. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get it. Let's go get this shit. I'm getting this money, baby. Let's get this money. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, it's up here some. All right, let's go some. What street is that? Oh, extension. All right, so if I go up on extension, drop down, I can go get that $13 right there. And then I'm going to turn Uber Pet off, use it on the next short trip I got. Like I said, right now I got Lux off because Lux ain't really paying nothing right now. Lux is fucking with me. So I had to turn that shit off. I'm going to kind of do Uber X for a while. As long as they got these big ass surges popping up everywhere, might as well, you know, 10 bucks for two miles, shit like that all the time, man. Might as well do it. I don't know, Uber's mad because Uber's like, he's on his fucking shit again. He's headed back down to go break us again. Yep, headed to go get y'all motherfuckers. I'm headed to go get y'all ass. It's like, as long as you keep this money out there, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. All right, so I'm passing this area right here. It should be hitting 13 pretty soon. As soon as I get to the top of the highway, because it ain't no other way to get it. I have to go this way to get it. So, yeah. All right. Damn it, they're not going to give me the 13 because I'm too far away from it. Because I'm going over the highway right now. I'm literally going over the... You have to be on the highway to get it. Oh, you raggedy motherfuckers. You raggedy bastards. You raggedy bastards. Yep, 950. But guess what? I could turn in these motherfucking apartments right here. Skirt. Yeah, y'all just fucked up. So I'm turning into some apartments. Wait a minute. Wrong way. Oh. Should have went to the ones across the street. Let's do this real quick. All right. What's these across the street on this side of the street, not that side of the street? Can I get over here? Four bucks. Can I go get this four bucks real quick from across the street? I've got these apartments. Let me go through these apartments right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the back. <laughs> This is crazy shit. This is like fucking playing video games. It's like this is called Beamer Bucks. Let's play Beamer Bucks. Oh, dude, what you doing, man? I'm gonna go outside the damn play fucking Beamer Bucks. What's that? It's where you drive around in your Beamer and you get bucks, motherfucker. Beamer Bucks. All right, I'm, I'm coming up on the back end of the freeway right here. This is the, the back end of the apartment complex. Come on, come on, Beamer Bucks. Let's go. Beamer Bucks, Beamer Bucks. Ooh, I got a $1 tip. Knowing damn well he didn't tip me no fucking $1. That last tip was more than that. 13 bucks. Beamer bucks. Beamer bucks. That's it, motherfucker. All right, so now let's get the fuck out of here. I guess I just had to come through these apartments real quick. Grab this money. Ah what was that? 10 miles for 33 15 That's $2 a mile right there. That one's crazy. That one's crazy. $30. That one's good. Let's do that one. $30 for 10 miles total. Let's do that one. Oh, somebody took that one. $21 for six miles. $33 for that. take that one if they'll give it to me $24 for that that's 270 for that one right there 24 for that little one yeah let's go pick up Chris there we go let's go like seven miles seven miles 24 bucks let's do it let's do it beamer bucks beamer bucks 
<laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta do that shit. I could have kept the 950, but I had to go get the 13. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna cut to these apartments right here. Cut to the apartments, went all the way to their little back parking lot back there, right next to the high. I'm like, Beamer books, Beamer books, motherfucker. I'll get that shit. You ain't, you just show me where a surge at. This little Beamer will get to it, motherfucker. Beamer books, Beamer books. All right, I did that real quick. Stop real quick. Let me turn on the here. That was it. 2462. Like I said, not bad, not bad. And where did I get a dollar surge from? I mean, a dollar tip. Oh, that was this one right here, dollar tip. I that was. I highly doubt that was a dollar tip. That was probably like a four or five dollar tip, but because it was such a short trip, they only gave me like a buck out of it. Those raggedy motherfuckers. Fuck them. Fuck them. But yeah, but that was a good trip right there. 24 bucks. Like I said, it was quick quick three miles the one before that 10 for 1.3 one before that was 11.34 for 2.2 said we're getting good we're getting good but i got a 16 dollar surge sitting right down there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uber pet it once again Ooh, uber pet allows me to creep in so it allows me to see what the actual surge is in real time 17 dollars straight down all right bet let's go down and get it 21 dollars over there man and then check this shit out so I'm sitting here driving these people, my phone ring. I'm thinking it's the people who, who I'm picking up. No, it was the girls that I dropped off earlier who had to do the cash ride. They're like, hey, can you come get us? Can you come? We're here. I was like, and that's why a lot of times I don't like doing cash rides. I don't think people understand how cash rides work because it we're not on call. On call is one thing. When, when this a busy Saturday like tonight, if you want to block out our time, and you want to have this private vehicle it's going to cost you about two three hundred dollars to privatize this vehicle for the night but you can't have us jumping all over town for twenty dollars here 15 because it might take me 10 miles to get to you to drive you 10 miles if you're giving me 20 bucks that's a dollar a mile it's not a good cash ride it's like not good private rides so i think a lot of people keep thinking all the time well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just like call them and tell them come pick us up we don't work like Uber and Lyft. A private vehicle is not like Uber or Lyft. A private vehicle is where, you know, you pay to, to charter that vehicle for the night. You're paying for the night of that vehicle. You're not paying for every time you need a ride, you give somebody 10 or $15. That's not a private ride. It's like, that's not how it works. So, cause like I said, I'm, I'm kind of far from where they are and they're like, hey, can you come get us? Can you come get, you just dropped us off. I'm like, well, I'm gonna do a pickup right now. Okay, but how long would it take you to get here? It don't work like that. That's not how it works. Private rides are more like scheduled rides. You say, hey, we need to ride Friday at 6 p.m. You know, this is where we're going. This is where you're picking us up from. And then you work on your rate and you work on your, that's how you work on a private ride. If you're on the spot, if I'm there right in front of you, and you want to do a private ride on the spot that's one thing i'm right there on the spot and we can negotiate on the spot but i can't be across town picking up surges 20 up 21 dollar surges all these surges doing shit 20 dollars next trip all right let's turn this motherfucker on real quick boop, boop. let's see what we got 20 dollars next trip let's see what we going through right now but yeah but you can't do that a lot of people don't understand how it works they're like oh man 48 dollars for that fuck no look at that 48 dollars for like 30 miles shit with a $20 surge, doubt it, doubt it. These motherfuckers really try some shit. $28 for that, take it. $28 for four miles. Let's go, let's go. You know I was getting that shit real quick, and that's what I was looking for. $28 four miles, let's go, baby. Shit, I told y'all motherfuckers, Uber tonight is not serving no mashed potatoes. These motherfuckers serving pizza, pizza and, and chocolate milk. Okay, I'm back in the mix back in the mix and then uber tried to be slick so they tried to send me a 16 it was 16 dollars for six miles 16 dollars for six miles check this shit out i should have had it recorded 16 dollars for six miles and i had a 16 dollar surge ain't that some shit it was 16 dollars for six miles and i had a six dollar surge i was like it ain't no motherfucking way i'm gonna do a 16 mile ride 16 mile ride, I mean six mile ride for $16 and I have a, a $16 surge. That ride was 100% surge. That's all it was. It was 100% surge. So I was like, nope, not doing it, not doing it. So I had to cancel that one and I put it on last ride after I canceled it. I canceled it, put it on last ride. And then after that, I went ahead and dropped the uh, Mac off, dropped that lady off real quick. 
and now I'm headed to go pick up my next shit right now. Oh, uh, twenty dollars. I can do this real quick. Let's open this shit back up again. Uber X. Like I said, I run Uber Pet just to give myself some time. But last trip, yeah, I had to cancel that. That was the one before that. This was that one. It was $28. It had a little surge on it right there. That was that short one right there. 1.4 miles, $28. That had a surge on it. It was a $23 surge. $20 surge, so it was $8. $43 for that shit. Uh, let's take it. Fuck it. Let's take it. Shit, I don't want to take that, man. I wanted something different. But I'll take it because it's going to the airport and I got to get out of here. Man. And all these fucking cars is like... You motherfuckers don't drive. All right, let's U-turn. If it wasn't airport, I wouldn't take it. I really wouldn't take it. But fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. I could have just, you know what? I could have found a little short three, four mile ride, you know, for twenty bucks and did. But I'm like, I'm gonna get to the airport anyways. I'm out of here, man. I gotta get the fuck up out of here because I've been over here for long enough. It's time to head the other way. See if I can get some goddamn money going. Hold up for a second. Man, I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Hold the fuck up. I, now I got to pull over and clean my motherfucking car out. I'm going to show y'all exactly what I be fucking talking about. Hold up for a second. I'm going to pull over right about here. Because I got to do this shit. Because this shit is irritating the fuck out of me. This is what I'm talking about. I just picked a motherfucker up. Wearing some goddamn fucking booty shorts and shit like that. This is the shit I'm gonna show you, motherfuckers, because y'all be like, what is he talking about? Let me show you what I gotta clean out my motherfucking car. Come on, goddammit, open the fucking car door. Look at this shit. Look at all that. It's fucking grease. All that's fucking grease. That's grease. All of my motherfucking seats. That's grease. And I'm finna pick this dude up. Look at this shit. Grease. All of my motherfucking seats. And I'm about to pick this dude up right now. And I'm like, man. That's why I hate these motherfuckers wearing these goddamn fucking booty shorts every fucking wear. Goddamn Krispy Kreme motherfucking donuts all on the back of their fucking legs and shit. I gotta clean my fucking car before my next goddamn ride hate that shit man that's like my fucking pet peeve it's like quit putting on so much motherfucking lotion shit walk around with a motherfucking diaper on or something i don't fucking know motherfuckers riding around fucking soaking up everybody's seats and shit it's like man now that's better shit at least it look a little bit better fuck i'll deal with it later i gotta pick this dude up. i'm glad i look back there because dude would have hopped in the motherfucking car and been like dude what the fuck man what you got in your goddamn car it's like somebody dropped a big ass fucking piece of pizza back here and that shit sliding all over the fucking place, man. The fuck? I'm like, exactly, man. Hate that shit. Then the tow truck's going that way. So I gotta go out this fucking way just to do what the fuck I wanna do. Shit. I'm telling you, man, these fucking people, boy. <sighs> like, motherfucker, at least if, you, if you're gonna put on that much lotion and shit all over your motherfucking body and be sliding around in motherfucking mayonnaise and shit, at least fucking carry a goddamn bath towel around with you. And motherfucker be like, why you got a towel in your purse? Because I'm always fucking, you know, wipe. I got to wipe shit down all the fucking time. I'm always wiping shit down. Oh, fuck. All right, I got a cancellation fee from that. All right, cool, cool. 24 for that? Let's do that. Bet. Let's do this shit then. Let's go pick up Enrique. That's cool. I'll take that any fucking ways. It's like I said, that... I had to fucking clean my damn car off. Dude was like, well, shit. He was like, well, I was trying to get to the airport, but he's not moving right now. So he canceled. I'll get a cancellation fee for that shit. 367 last trip cancellation. That'll work. That'll work. I just had to clean. And that's the thing. These motherfuckers are impatient. He saw me stop probably and was wondering, why the fuck that car stopped? Why the fuck he stopped? Man, why the, why the hell he stopped? This is why. You know... A lot of times they don't do that shit, man. These motherfucking, these impatient ass fucking riders don't give us time to even clean our fucking car. The apps don't have a button on our car. Oh, there we go, another rider canceled. 20 bucks? Yeah, the app don't give us a button on our motherfucking car that says, hey, 39 for that, 28, 30 for that. Nah, all these riders are stupid. Oh, that's all going... All right, 
let's go pick up Heather real quick. Fuck it. Let's do this trip. I'll just do this trip, get it over with, just so I can get rid of this motherfucking surge real quick and get out of this area right here. Like, as I was going to try to do something, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep this trip just to get the fuck out of this area real quick because I'm done over here. It's, like I said, you got the greasy motherfucker starting to come out at night. And I'm like, fuck that shit. The grease come out at night. Mm -mm -mm. The grease come out at The grease come out like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, those ladies were very cool. Very cool. And that was my trip right there. It was at $39. And, you know, she went to the... I stopped and I gave... They had to go pick up something at the store. So she was like, stop at this Circle K. So she went in and she saw the juice I was drinking. Went and bought me a big one. I was like, thank you so much. But that was that trip right there. $39. You know what? 13 miles. That's cool. I'll do it. I'll do it. Wasn't too bad. Now I'm I'm kind of far south. This is where I am right now. I'm below the 202. So I'm away from all the surge and everything else. But it's okay because I can just turn on Lux. Ain't nobody out here. So I'm going to turn on Lux real quick. So here we go. Let's kick on Lux. And let's drive around on Lux now. And I know Liv is going to be like, oh shit, he's down there. Yep, you can pay me if you want to. But it's going to cost you, motherfucker. And I needed a break anyway. I need to get away from the craziness. Juan Vargas is saying, you know what, by ASU, it's only like, what, 1 o'clock. It is nuts everywhere right now. Just super fucking crazy right now. Which is cool because... I needed to get away from all that craziness just so I can kind of like, you know, vibe and, and enjoy myself and shit like that. This co country concerts every fucking where, games everywhere, it is nuts out there right now. Fucking nuts. So I made $80 on Lyft plus the 30, you know, the cash app, that was the 110. So 110 plus, no fucking way. There's no fucking way I made $117. This is bullshit. Saturday? No fucking way. In an hour, 34? No, I did not make no motherfucking 130. Wait a minute. Let me go look at something. There's 39, 367, 28 at 1217, 24, 1057, 1134. That's all from tonight. Holy shit. That's all Uber from, I thought I had to be something that wrapped up. No, that's all from tonight. I made 117 goddamn dollars on Uber. And I was talking all shit about these raggedy motherfuckers. Holy shit. So I done made 117 on Uber, about 110 on Lyft because the 80 plus the fucking $30 cash ride. Holy shit. Damn. I didn't even, I thought I didn't even drive Uber tonight. What the fuck? Oh, I was trapped in that surge up there. That's what I was trapped in that motherfucking surge. Makes sense now. Holy shit. This has been a fast fucking night. This is shocking the shit out of me right now. It's one o'clock in the fucking morning. Holy shit. That was an hour or something. And I only been online for an hour 46 here plus with that $30. So I've been online total for about three, four hours all day. I done made over damn, an hour 46 I made 80, but that's scouting and everything because I'm even running it right now. Then over here, oh shit, Andy just gave me a tip. Oh no, wait, she just gave, oh, she bought me a drink and she gave me a fucking tip. Heather, you are way too sweet. You are too sweet, lady, way too fucking sweet. These are two country girls that were leaving a country concert. Man, and they were like, can you just stop here? Look at that, 13, 40, man, way too fucking sweet, way too sweet. Hold up for a second. I'm trying to see some shit because I'm kind of confused at what the fuck just happened today. $127 in an hour, 34 minutes, five trips, and I was online scouting these motherfuckers, declining every goddamn thing. This is craziness right now. What the fuck is going on, man? 127 plus 110, 200, almost 240 fucking dollars in like three hours total. Like three fucking hours. Because if you look, I've only I've been online for an hour and a half with with Uber online, not driving, just online. That's it. I can add up the fucking time, but I don't. So I've been online with them, and I've been online a day with Lyft for damn near an hour and a half to an hour forty-five. So I've been online for about three hours all day. Online for three hours, driving way less than three hours. I've been driving maybe maybe two and a half to three hours. Maybe I don't even fucking know. But that's fucking crazy. I've been scouting like a motherfucker. This is, I'm shocked. I'm going to tell you motherfuckers something. I shock myself because 
yeah, I don't plan this shit. I don't do this shit. I'm just out busting my motherfucking ass hustling. I don't count my money. I just drive. I do the best I could fucking do. I take breaks here and there when I think I need a break to see, see what the fuck is going on. I'm glad I stopped to see what the fuck is going on. Damn, that's crazy. Like this day, it took me three hours and 25 minutes to make the 121. Tonight, I've only been online for an hour and a half. That's it. That's fucking crazy to me. That's fucking crazy. Man, this has been a crazy fucking night. And that's the thing. I don't drive 10 hours a day. I only drive four, four or five hours. That's all I give a fuck about is four or five hours of time. A lot of people are like, man, you should do more, man. You should max out, do 12 hours. Nobody wakes up saying I want to work double shifts for the rest of my fucking life. I need to do it this way because this way shows me of possibilities. If all you do is max your hours out and take a bunch of shit rides, you start thinking that's what you need to do in order to make a living. I can make a living doing short trips, surges, using Uber Pet, fucking not working a lot of hours a day, and I can enjoy my motherfucking life. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to be no 80 hour a week motherfucker. Nobody wakes up or graduates high school or college going, I cannot wait to work 80 hours, man. I can't fucking wait. I'm gonna be able to work. No, I wanna work as less hours I can make to make the most amount of money I can fucking make. My life is not about working. I work to pay for the life I have. If I can work four hours a fucking day and pay for the shit I got, then I'm working four hours a fucking day. I ain't greedy. Leave the rest of that money on the street for people that need it. People with three kids, four kids, shit like that. Leave that money for them. Let's go over to Uber Pet. Because I don't need to live like that. I don't need to be working all these motherfucking hours. So I'm like, nope, not doing it. Damn, $14 sitting up there? Okay, I see you. Let's go get the 14. Let's go get this fucking 14 real quick. And that's my thing. I don't want to be that motherfucker that's going to be working no goddamn 80 hours. I don't even want to work 40. I don't want to work full time. I do it sometimes because I have to if I need to get the money or I got a project coming up or something like that. No, I'm not doing that. Fucking, what is that? Almost seven miles for 1121 with a surge? No, I'm cool. I got Uber Pet on right now. What are they doing? I got Uber Pet on. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, Uber X Share. All right. My bad. My bad. Yeah, but I'm not trying to do that shit right there, man. My life is, is about being smart and very efficient and doing shit that makes sense. It's not about working myself to the fucking bone so these corporations go, oh, we got an idiot out there. We got an 80-hour-a-week idiot. No, I want to work three, four motherfucking hours and be like, holy shit, how much did I just fucking make? That's the kind of life I want to live. But what are these motherfuckers talking about? $17 to go was that eight nine miles let's do it let's trap that because i'm going this way anyway so i'm gonna go pick up josh over on vaughn and elm over here but in the meantime i'm gonna try to pick up this fucking surge right here if i can get this 14 dollars surge if they still got it so i'm gonna pick up the 14 leave it on uber pet go drop josh off and see if i can do that shit let me see let me see something come on come on give me the 14 no, I'm just going to keep going straight. I'm going to keep going straight. Because I would turn up in there to get the 14. I'm just going to keep going straight. And hopefully they give it to me just for passing by that close. Nope, they're not going to give it to me. I have to go up there to fucking get it. And I'm not going up in that neighborhood for two fucking dollars. Fuck that. 13 is good enough. All right. So I'm going to go pick up. Move on real quick. Let's go to last ride. Last ride. All right. So what this allows me to do. Is Uber Pet allows me to trap that. Oh, I got the 14. Okay, so I got the 14 locked on Uber Pet. Good. Now I'm going to go get this $17 right here real quick. But that's how I drive. You know what I'm saying? You got to drive around and learn how to fucking use these fucking apps. Right now I'm trapping money and I'm doing the best I can do to get this fucking money. And hopefully, like I said, I mean, I don't think I'll clear $300. I don't think so. Not enough. I mean, I ain't even worked three mother. I ain't even drove three fucking hours. I've been online for about three hours. And I scout and fuck around. There's no fucking way possible I made this much money in this short of time. This is fucking crazy to me. Crazy to me. And I know a lot of people be like, you know, bragging about the shit. It's nothing to brag about. This shit is fucking, like, it's crazy. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I thought that money came from, like, last night or something. I'm like, there's no fucking, I didn't even drive Uber that much. How the fuck? Because those trips were so fucking short. That surge was so fucking high. I forgot how many trips I did with Uber. I was like, there's no fucking way I made this much money. It, this can't even be happening right now. 
And like I said, I'm just, I'm doing anything I can do to go out here and get this fucking money in the smartest way I can get it. And I tell every driver out there, use your fucking brains, man. Fuck these channels that be telling you, oh, you just got to drive, man. Get in at 4.30 in the morning and drive. You can make $250 a day. Motherfucker, you can make $250 in three hours. Fuck a whole day. You can do this shit in three hours. Just stay on your motherfucking grind. Use your fucking brain. And be like, this is what I need to do. I need to do this type of route. I need to go to this area. I need to fucking scout this. I need to do that. You need to figure this shit out. You need to figure it out. Because if you don't figure out how to drive for short hours, short distance, and you're so used to doing that shit, long distance, long hours, long mouth, you're going to think that's how you have to work to operate. I can only operate if I'm doing a ton of fucking miles. I can only operate if I'm on the road for 10, 12 hours a day. No. Trick yourself into thinking that you're working a lot of hours when you're doing four or five hours. Because to me, four or five hours on the road is a lot of fucking hours to me. Because we're going through a lot of shit and for I'm tearing up fucking spoilers and tires and shit. Four or five hours driving is a lot of hours. Try driving to a new city every fucking day because it feels like I'm driving to Vegas every day. Four or five hours on the road is me driving to Vegas every day. That's a long fucking drive. But four or five hours, like driving to Vegas is about three, four hundred miles. I'm not doing three, four hundred miles. Time wise, I'm on the road as far as leaving my house. But actual driving, I'm only doing 80 miles, 90 miles, 100 miles. 120 miles. I'm not doing shit for mileage and I'm still pulling 250 to 300 because it's about your, how many miles do you want to drive in a year in 12 months? How many miles do you want to drive? Say, this is how much money I want to make. This is how many miles I want to drive. This is how much I want to end up at least grossing. Your net income is going to be from the reduced expenses of what you're not fucking spending to get that money. These high AR motherfuckers, these I need to drive a whole lot of mile motherfuckers, let them drive like that. That's not your drive. That's their drive. Let them drive like that. You keep doing what you do. Let them do what they do. You keep doing what you do. And in the end, may the best fucking man win. May the odds forever be in your favor, whatever the fuck they be saying. So I just dropped off Josh. That was that quick trip right there. That one right there, I just dropped him off. So it was nine miles, seven to almost two dollars a mile, but I still got this Uber running in the background. So what I gotta do is go in here and gotta turn on regular Uber again. So I, I saved that $14 on Uber Pet as I was driving around. So I'm gonna shut Lyft down, 127 over here, about 127, and I'm still sitting at, let me show you what the fuck I'm sitting at. Is $25 for that? No, I'm not doing that. Let me show you what I'm sitting at as far as gasoline goes. This shit's crazy. I'm still at fucking, wait a minute, hold up. Look at that. Not even a quarter tank of fucking fuel used yet. I'm still right there. Not even a quarter tank of fuel. And I done made all this fucking money already. Five miles for 19. Yeah, let's take it. Fuck it. Let's do it. I'll do that. Five miles for $19. Let's do it. But yeah. So I got to go pick up Jasmine down the street. But it's cool though. I done done about, like I said, 127 over here, 120, about $250, $260 in the first quarter tank of fuel. That's $1,000 a tank. This is the second time I've done this already. The second time I've done this this week because I did it last night and now I'm doing it again tonight. That means a half tank of gas, I basically use a half tank because last night I went from a half tank down to a quarter and I filled it up. Today I went from full down to a half. That's a half tank of gas I've made $500 so far and a half tank of fucking fuel. Man, I'm telling you, this shit, I can do this $1,000 a tank, but that's the thing, tomorrow's Sunday and I'm not gonna be able to do it on Sunday. So I need to find a Thursday, Friday, Saturday or a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to do it. Sun, once you get Sunday and Monday involved, I'm fucked. I, I can't do it on Sunday and Monday. But see, I saved that $14 to go down here that surge I saved, I'm gonna go down here and pick up Jasmine, get hurt. There's no other surge out there, so I'm gonna turn this shit to last ride, stop new requests. Hopefully she don't try to throw a motherfucking stop on here. We just wanna get some McDonald's, man. Fuck that McDoodles. We ain't stopping nowhere. I'm dropping you off at home, goddammit. I'm trying to go out and get this fucking money. I'm not dealing with you motherfuckers. Get this is the $14 surge that I saved using Uber Pet because like I said, they don't send a lot of Uber Pet requests. So I put that shit on Uber Pet and grab me some surges. Then when I'm ready to use that motherfucker, I put it on UberX and I'll go use it somewhere. Now for you raggedy motherfuckers out there who are kind of slow and they, you shouldn't be able to do that. I don't know how you're doing that. How do you do that? I'm like, you just saw it on the fucking video, motherfucker. 
You just saw me. If I showed you on the video, you see my screen, you see exactly what I'm doing, copy it. You'll do the exact same fucking thing. It was funny as shit. Jasmine was fucking hilarious. That girl was funny. Her and her homegirl. So we pull out to the club. So I picked them up real quick. That's their trip, 1979 right there. That's their trip right there. <laughs> $14 surge. It was $5 for 2.7 miles and they gave me that $14 surge. I've been saving like a motherfucker. The trip before that still kills me though. $20 surge, $10 tip. That was the shit. Then I got a dollar tip somewhere. Somebody gave me a dollar tip. It was like eleven fifty-seven or something weird. All oh, this one. Motherfucker gave me a dollar tip right there. That was that little weak ass fucking club right there. But no, so me and her, we was in the car. Oh shit, they just gave me a tip. Oh, thank you, Jazz. Hey, that was a good ass route. I had them girls dying laughing. So they fucking, so we pulling off. So they get in the car and there's a guy that's sitting at, on a bench. And, and Jasmine yelled out the window. She was like, nice swim trunks. Like yelled at that motherfucker. She was like, I can't believe this dude showed up in the club with fucking swim trunks on. I was like, oh, that motherfucker, he thinking ahead of his time. I like this motherfucker, he y'all lucky he ain't walk up with a motherfucker set of goggles on and shit. He looking for somebody that's having a goddamn beach party. He was like, he ain't, this motherfucker ain't gotta get ready. He stay ready. This motherfucker is ready all. And they were laughing so fucking hard. They was dying laughing. It was like, Jeff, you are so funny. I was like, man, y'all gonna have me start wearing motherfucking goggles and swim trucks at the nightclub just in case somebody throw a pool party when you finish this motherfucker. It's like, I ain't gotta go home and get ready. I wear my swim trunks to the club when I'm out dancing and shit. Motherfucker, you wear the swim trunks. And I was like, he probably got the swim trunks with the netted underwear all of the motherfuckers already. He ain't even got no drawers on. Motherfucker, wear them netted underwear swim trunks. They was in there cracking the fuck up, boy. Them girls were hilarious. It was like, this is a gut laugh. You know, I was like, you know what? We kicked it all fucking day. This is what we do. We just kick it all fucking day. Now I'm truly down to, I'm gonna go up here and make a turn real quick. Well, I'm going north right now because I'm gonna head it back towards Tempe. You know, because this kind of dead wherever I'm at right now. But yeah, that shit was funny. Look at that shit, 153 motherfucking dollars. And goddamn two hours online, 153. And that's on UberX. UberX don't pay like that. Man, and I've been just driving around on fucking Uber Pet all night. Guaranteed, I, I drove maybe an hour, hour and a half, if that. Because I've been driving around with Uber Pet locked on. That's $153, man. I can go and add up all the time, but I ain't even going to do that. I ain't got time for that shit. So that's $153 on that end. And then what do we got over here? That's $153. Oh, here's the Circle K. I'm going to go to the Circle K. And then, uh, what's that? 98 plus that 30 so 128 damn i'm almost at 300 dollars. that's like yeah that's about 280 almost 290 i'm almost at 290 300 god damn yeah because it's 153 plus 128 that puts me at 100 at least 280 i'm at least 280 right now that's fucking crazy 280 dollars already god damn and that ain't even no fucking time you know what i'm saying that's, you know, two hours and nine minutes online with that shit. Man, this is crazy. Whoops. Six hours. Man, almost seven hours. Four, six, man, this is just getting crazy. $61 on that shit still. Yeah. Woo. I need to take me a break. I'm sitting right here by this motherfucking Circle K right now. I need to get out the car for a second. I've been driving like fucking crazy. And when I park, see, that's why I like driving at night. I park wherever the fuck I want to park. Like, I don't have to worry about... You know, being like, oh, man, I got to pull into a parking spot. I got to do this. I'm going to show y'all where I be parking. Like, this is where I am right now. <laughs> Look, that here the parking spots are way the fuck up here. My shit's sitting way back here. I just came around a corner, just pulled up, and just sat right there. Like, I don't even pull into the parking spots because it's nighttime. I don't be nobody out here. Look at this shit. It's dark as a motherfucker out here. Look at that. Togo's. There's the motherfucking light over here. That's Shell right there. Starbucks. Sometimes, you know, I just get out the car and just hang the fuck out. Empty ass parking lot over here. You just, you don't even need to fucking park. You just get out, you just hang out, fucking sit your car where the fuck you gonna sit. It ain't no big fucking deal. Okay, I'm done chilling for a second. <clears throat> I would wipe the car down some. Okay, let's do that real quick. Fucking, I ain't in a rush. They got a surge sitting right there. I'm on Lux right now. I'm not turning on UberX just yet, but I'm gonna sit here for a second, kind of spray the car down a little bit. Let's go down real quick, spray this shit over everything. There we go. I'm just walking around right now, just make sure I get spray everywhere. <clears throat> Cause I ain't doing shit. Might as well just fucking wipe the goddamn car down. 
Because this shit, like I said, you can fucking get up here easily and fucking... Woo, look at this shit. Man, man, man. I got to do the windows and everything. This shit, man. I ain't wiped this car down all night. It's been that damn busy. <clears throat> I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Y'all was sitting here chilling, wiping the car down, and a fucking rod hit. So I had to hurry up and finish wiping the fucking car. I'm like, man, I got to go. God damn it. All right, so let's go ahead and go get this fucking money real quick. Right, I got to head over here to Ryan's Lounge. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Which way these motherfucking maps going to have me go? Come on, man. What the fuck? All right, I'll see where we're going. Out and then turn it. Yeah, I hate these fucking maps when they act like that. They start doing jank shit, like going in fucking circles and everything. I'm like, dude, if you don't fucking get this goddamn map right. And this is a $19 uh, ride right here, 19 bucks. I think it's like 11 miles, but it's going in the direction I need to go. So this is a free 19. It was pretty cool. They were, you know, he, it was him and his wife with their friend and you know, he was getting in the back and you know, his wife and her friend were coming out. And I was like, dude, you can sit in the front. He was like, for real? He says, hold up, let me, he says, hey, he said I can sit in the front. He says, man, as many Ubers as I've taken, nobody has ever said, has said I can sit in the front. I was like, what? I was like, dude, I think it's fucking weird for people to sit in the back, even if it's one person. It feels weird. I'm like, I guess I'm just, you know, I'm a Jeep guy, I'm a motorcyclist, I'm, you know, I'm a people person. So if I took an Uber, I like to sit in the front. Let's ride, let's chat, let's talk, man, like we having a conversation. I mean, to me, I know it's a business transaction, but dude, we, we having a conversation. He was like, dude, nobody has ever invited me to sit in the front. He says, I feel so special. <laughs> they were laughing so hard about it, but he was cool as shit though. I'm like, dude, I tell everybody that. I'm like, y'all ain't got to fucking all load in the back. If you want to sit in the front, somebody can sit in the front. Ain't no big deal. Most people say, oh, for real shit, I'll sit in the front and motherfuckers jump up here quick as shit. Most Uber drivers don't let us sit in the front. I'm like, well, I'm not most Uber drivers either. Motherfuckers like, I don't mind people sitting in the front because if we're going to have a conversation, that keeps me from yelling at you in the fucking back seat. If you're sitting right next to me, we can chat. I ain't got to yell at you. Shit's cool, man. I'm cool with that shit. So that was that last ride right there. That $20 Lux, bam. It was 11 miles, 20 bucks, almost $2 a mile, not quite. They've been keeping my ass south all night, but they've been keeping me busy all night too. I mean, I've driven for seven hours, 40, 481, yeah. So roughly about almost $70 an hour, close. Still in the 60s, still in the 60s. But, so today I made what, 118 over here, plus the 30, so 148. Then we'll go over to Uber real quick. 151, so that's my $300 day. I made 300, oh shit, and it's got $9 behind me? Oh fuck yeah. 20, wait, 15? All right, I'm about to U-turn. I'm gonna go get this fucking money because that shit's right behind me too. Let's go get this 925 behind me real quick. You know how we do, Uber Pet. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They say Uber Pet is busy. Nobody ever does Uber Pet. Don't fall for that shit. <laughs> All right, so now I'm locked in with Uber Pet. Uh, let's see, make sure, yep, Uber X Share is not on there. Let's see what reservations they got going. Uh, $24, it's Chandler Boulevard, 15, 20 minutes. And that's at 5.45, taking somebody up to the airport from down where I am right now. Oh, man, can I stay down here for another three hours? I don't know. Let's think about it. Yeah, because that's a long time. I can go down here and get this $15 real quick. I mean, it's basically the next intersection. So I can shoot down here, pick that money up, come back. I'm not going way down here. Fuck no. That's way too far. If I go get the 925, I should be good. But Hunt Highway, yeah. That's the end of civilization. Look, there's nothing out there. That's going towards fucking Frank's house. But since I'm already down here, I'm like, fuck it, let's go get the money. I'll go get it. So I made 148 and 153 puts me over 200, over $300. Over 300. And like I said, I'm not even knowing how much time I've been driving because I'm really just like scouting. And I mean, it's only two o'clock. It's only two o'clock. And I've been just cruising, sitting in parking lots. Fucking riding around on Uber Pet, talking to people and shit, making video. Man, this has been an easy ass Saturday. Uh, and we knew it was gonna be a booming Saturday. Last night, Juan Vargas made 500 on Friday night. I talked to him today and I told him, I said, you're gonna make $1,000 in two days. You did the 500 on Friday, you're guaranteed to make 500 tonight. I bet he made $1,000 in two days. I haven't talked to him in, in hours. I am just guaranteeing because I know how he drives and I know how shit's going tonight. 
He made a thousand dollars in two days. I just feel it. I know it. And last night I made about 280. Tonight I made three. So I've made almost 600 in two days. But again, I don't work a lot of hours. I don't drive a lot. Juan Vargas, he comes from way out west and he gets a lot of rides out and to. So he gets an extra, you know, hundred, two hundred dollars just for doing those extra miles. He gets an extra couple of hundred bucks. And so that's the benefit of him living. Like once I'm at the airport, I'm done. My night's over. It's a wrap. But he actually can go way out farther, pick up more money and shit. So that's why I like the way that he drives, because he's way out there. Let me turn this motherfucker right here. Yeah, because he's out there and it's pretty cool, because I'm like, dude, if I lived a little bit further, like right now, I'm kind of far out. So I can get that Chandler ride to get me back to the airport for 20 bucks instead of going on my own gas. I might do that, might not. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna go get this $9 real quick, leave this shit trapped on Uber Pet, like I said, then start heading back toward the house. I can snag a reservation, start doing Lux rides out here, and as soon as my reservation hit on UberX, I can use that $9 for that reservation to go back that way. But that's three hours. I'm not gonna be doing no motherfucking, you know, riding around here for three fucking hours. No. Whoa, shit. Boom, there we go. A little hop, that's all. A little hop, skip, bump. Yeah, but no, we got to, man, this has been a crazy couple of days, but we, like I said, when football season comes back in, I said, let's all get out there and eat. I've got to get my ass in the car more often. I need to be out here for more hours. And that just means, and I don't do, I drive through the night. Like I'll drive to about five in the morning. Last night I drove to about 2.33. I should have did it until like six. I cut myself short by three hours. I could have made some more money. I cut myself short about three hours. Tonight, I'm going to push it till five, I hope. But also... If I can get out earlier, let's say five o'clock, then I should be able to do better. But when I'm not doing it, man, I gotta I gotta start getting out the house earlier. I gotta get out earlier. $24, oh, did he give me a tip? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, $5 tip, appreciate it, brother. Wait a minute. No, that was something, that was something. I was on lift for the last one, Never mind. Never mind. I was on lift. I almost thought he gave me a five. I totally forgot I did that last one on Live Lux. So yeah, I remember that five. That was the girls. The five dollars was the girls. I'm cool with the 925. Because if I go down and get the six, that means I got to turn around and come back. I'm going to go in this parking lot. And it's only like maybe, I would say, eh, two, three miles. But if it's, if it's two, three miles, like there to there is about a mile a mile, about two, three miles. But the problem is, even with that, if it's two or three miles, that means it's a dollar mile because I know two, three miles down there to come two or three miles back. It's a waste of my fucking time. So I don't want to do a dollar mile shit. I just got the nine bucks. Let me cruise around here real quick and consider where I'm going to use this shit. Uh, what? I just got tipped. Hold up, hold up. Somebody just tipped me. Who tipped me? 126. Oh, this was 118. That's up to 126. Oh, that was the ride I just did. Yes, yes. That was the ride I just did. Great passenger. Hey, hey, that was my man, Ryan. That was my man, Ryan. Awesome guy. Hell yeah. He was a cool dude, man. That was a dude I said, yeah, you can sit in the front. <laughs> he was like, what? You gonna let me sit? Yeah, dude, get in the front, man. We riding, we riding. So I like that shit right there. So now I got 126 plus the 30, the $30 Venmo. Puts that at 156. 156 plus my... 153 it's about 310 dollars i've made so far and i still got damn near another three hours of driving like i said i've not even done that many here we this is how many long i've been online with them i've been online for two hours and 15 minutes and made 150 dollars just being online for two hours and 15 minutes 153 you flip over here i've been online for two hours and 47 minutes and i've made that 126 plus that 30 156 so both apps are running about equal tonight lux and uber x are running neck and neck right now it's crazy shit lux and uber x are running neck and neck right now and you think see there we go i flip my shit around let's cruise up here now that's why i didn't go down and get that 15 because the muffins gonna pull it any fucking ways that's why i turned my shit around i wasn't gonna drive all the way down there to pick up 15 dollars when it was a waste of my time any fucking ways it would have been you know, two, three miles down, two, three miles back. That's four or five miles, four to six miles to get an extra six dollars. That's a dollar a fucking mile. I don't want that. So I whipped my shit around and I started just driving north because I got the nine that I wanted. I got my 925. So I'm gonna cruise up this way. I could switch over real quick and get the 11, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's turn. Let's see if I can use this 925 real quick. Let's see something. Let's see if anybody's out here. See if we can get a, a $30 ride going back toward where I got to get to. If I can give me a $30 ride headed back, then that'll put me at almost $200 for that shit. All right. Passing the fire station and shit like that. Where the fuck am I? It's like, what street am I even on? Oh, this is Gilbert South. I'm like, where the fuck did they got me, man? And they got me. And the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. $21 way down to Queen Creek. Fuck no. That's going south. I'm not trying to go south. I'm trying to go north. North going to the airport is where I'm trying to go. Hold up for a second. Let's try something real quick. Let's put it back on Uber Pet because I think they're going to start doing some shady shit. So I'll put it back on Uber Pet real quick. Do I got it on Lux right now? Yep, I think Lux is running. Yep, Lux is running. So cool. Like I said, I got $310 so far, $310. And I still got another couple hours to go before I can finish my night off. So let's see. Oh, let's look at that reservation again. Let's see something real quick. I can go over and get that 11, but I'm like, ah, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. That was at $5.46 46 minutes ago. Yeah, I'm not going because it's only a dollar seventy-five more to go over there. I don't have to go over there. Okay, at 555, 20 bucks. That's at 555. 20 bucks. At 620. That's a little earlier in the daytime. That's 620. I don't know because at 555, that's in like three fucking hours. Do I want to be out here that fucking long? 20 that'll get me at least up to the airport. That'll be a $20 ride up to the airport from where I am right now. Ah, fuck it. Let's take it. Let's take it. I'll take that. So that's picking them up. So that means the other one disappeared. The 620 disappeared. So 555, I'll do that because I'm going to be south anyways. I'll pick them up, take them up to the airport. Everything's all good. Let me pull over right here to Circle K real or Damn it. This quick trip, not Circle K. Let me pull over here to this quick trip real quick. Probably going here by me. One of these little crusty ass motherfucking donuts since I ain't doing shit else right now. <laughs> I didn't bring no cookies or nothing with me. So I got to go get me a crusty dusty in this motherfucker. And Bolsa is a little bit too far. So, while I was in there getting some crusty dusties, they sold me two of them for $2.14. That's what's up. I got two crusty dusties for $2.14. But they threw a motherfucking surge. That $11 surge has jumped up. Is up now. That motherfucker went up to 14 and then 15 is right below it. So I'm going to cruise over here real quick and get it. I'm like, shit, wait a minute. If y'all going to push it up that much, let's go Let's go make it happen, motherfucker. Shit. I'm like, I'll go get it now. I mean, and the 15 ain't too far. Like I said, I left that other 15 sitting over there because I didn't want to fuck with it. I was like, well, that 15 is a little too far. I don't want to fuck with that. So they threw this one on there. So I'm like, cool, shit. I mean, it's like the next goddamn light right there is the 14. So I'm gonna cruise over here and grab this 14. I got my two custard crusty, and they just put them out. Cause I asked him, I said, hey man, are these fresh? He was like, oh man, we just put those out. Thank you. And I need these motherfuckers, boy. Woo, these custards are good. Custards cut the mustard. But see, that's why I didn't drop all the way down and go get that $15. I'll still be down there fucking around right now. I'm probably driving back with nothing cause they pulled that shit. So I started coming north because I had to come north any fucking ways. Check this shit out. These motherfuckers do 14. I'll grab the 14, not the 15, because to go get the 15 is $1 more. It doesn't do nothing for me. It's only one extra fucking dollar. That's not a big deal. It's a dollar. It's like, no, I don't have to go that fucking far, not for a dollar. I just go grab this one right here and call that shit good. So even when I'm out playing Pac-Man and snag and surge, hey, Getting these Beamer bucks. Fuck that shit. Oh, I'm already got the 14. So now I'm going to go left so I can go north a little bit. I'm just going here real quick. We're going to put it on UberX to see who's got money out there. Who can help me use this $14? Like somebody, somebody help me. Motherfucker, help me use this fucking 14 in Beamer bucks. Beamer bucks. I want to use these motherfucker Beamer bucks. Lip ain't doing shit right now. Let's turn Lyft off. We're going to go offline with Lyft. 
Cause Lyft ain't doing shit. I know they're gonna be like, dude, why'd you go offline, bro? Why'd you go online? We got a ride set up for you. No, you don't. If you had a ride, you would have gave me a ride a long time ago. Beamer Bucks, looking ass. And it's 2.30. So 2.30, a lot of people are still leaving clubs because the clubs are closed. And people just stand outside talking and chatting and shit like that. This is all cool. I just need to get to a place where there's like a bar somewhere. I don't know. I don't know this part of town too good. Oh, fuck no. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nope. I knew they was going to do that fucking shit. Hold up for a second. And they, because they didn't put the fucking trip on there. So I got to say, accept the trip by accident because they didn't put the fucking trip on there. All they did was put that, you know, he wanted to be picked up. His pickup and his drop off was the exact same. So I wasn't about to pull that shit. Nope. Not me, motherfucker. You ain't tricking me. You got to put a fucking destination in there. Without no destination? No. Because they going to fuck around and give you like a 30, 40 mile fucking trip for like $8. People see that. People do that shit all the fucking time. They'll pick up a trip with no destination and they'll be like, man, I picked up a trip and it says zeros on it. Exactly. And as a year, they threw me a 30 mile fucking trip and I got $9. Exactly. Don't ever pick up a zero trip. Don't do it. That's how they fuck people over right there. They fuck you out of your money because then a person has to add the stop when they change it and add it. It's going to give you the bare fucking minimum. It ain't no fucking max out. It's no max uh, fucking rate. You're going to get the minimum rate. Whatever the minimum rate is, you're going to get it. If it's 50 cent a mile, 30 cent a mile, that's what you're going to get. So they can add fucking 30 miles on there. At 30 cents a mile, you're getting nine fucking dollars for that shit. They'll put it all the way at the fucking floor rate. And you picked it up. And you don't know what the rate is until after you do the ride. And so after you do the fucking ride, now you're like, damn, why did I pick that ride up? I thought it was going to be more than that. Why would it be? You accepted a zero mile trip at what it was. Yeah, so they trying to send me some crazy shit right now. But I'm not going to sit up here and let these motherfuckers blow my shit up. Give me some fucked up trips and shit. I'm not letting them do that. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to do anything in their power to get you to take a fucked up trip. And I'm sitting on a $14 surge. Look at that. I'm sitting on a $14 surge. How in the fuck is it like 20, 20 miles for $28 and I got a $14 surge? Look at that shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Hold up. Let me put my shit back on Uber Pet because they doing some shady shit right now. So I have to turn that shit off because every trip they're sending me is a fucked up trip right now. So I'm gonna save my, my Uber pet for later on. I'm gonna save my surge for later on. Cause I'm not gonna let them do that shit to me. Let me go back online real quick. And we'll see what Lux got out there. But yeah, Uber Uber pet saves your motherfucking surge for a little bit. Don't ask me how, motherfucker. I don't work for Uber. Don't ask me shit. Just look at my screen and see what I'm doing. See if it works for you. If it don't work for you, don't fuck it. Jeff, why didn't it work for me? I don't work for fucking Uber. I don't know. I'm just doing what I do. I don't tell nobody to do what I do. If you see me do something, it's because I can. That's it. I'm only doing it because I can. If I couldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. So if it don't work in your fucking region or with your phone, don't fuck with me about it. It ain't got shit to do with me. You need to contact Uber. Hey, how come I can't see this on my phone? How come I can't? Don't ask me because I don't work for motherfucking Uber. Trust me. If you see me do some shit, it's only because I can. It's not because I know something special or spectacular. I don't know shit about these fucking apps. I really don't. I just get in these motherfuckers. I drive. I try to get money. I do the best I can. I analyze my trips. That's all I do. All this extra shit, I don't know nothing about it. Seriously, I don't know shit. If you see me do something, it's only because I know how. That's it. Look at my videos. And that's when you'll be like, oh, I see what he's doing. I can see what he's doing. Yep, because you see it on my videos. You don't have to ask me shit. Just, it's on a video. I guarantee it's on a video. And I like to tell people, hey, I made a video about that. This is how it is. This is what it does. I made a video about that. A lot of people don't look at my videos because they want to take a shortcut. My videos are not that long. Imagine going to college for four fucking years. To the, tomorrow, go enroll in college tomorrow. Four years later, get at me when you've learned everything you need to learn. Or open a video, play that shit for 30 minutes to an hour. So you can either do 30 minutes to an hour 
or you can go four years to go to college. I mean, it's your fucking life. It's your choice. But what you can't do is expect me to redo the video all over again. I can't redo the video. The video is here. They're all here. I can't redo the video. So if it's something you just don't feel like watching or listening to, good luck. You know, go make that money. Do the best you can do. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Do the best you can do. But I'll put the shit on a video. It's somewhere in my fucking shit. You just got to spend some time looking at them. If you learn something, you learn something. If you already know shit, then you know shit. Add to the fucking content. Be like, I'm going to add a comment to it. Cool. Knock yourself the fuck out. But this is what we do around here. We help each other. No, we don't fuck around. We help each other the best we can. Okay, I still got Uber Pet running. I'm going to wait till I get up by Elliot. Maybe just past Warner. And I'm going to turn this motherfucker on because I know Joe Lees is around here somewhere. Let me do this now because I know Joe Lees is around here. That's a little bar a lot of people like to go to. So let's see what kind of shit they got. Because I'm on what? A Lindsay? Oh shit, Joe Lees is way the fuck over there. I ain't even close to Joe Lees right now. But hopefully, look at that, 20 bucks for that. Oh, I don't know. $14 surge. So they're giving me six, $18.98. Let's do that. Fuck yeah, let's do that. That's like four or five miles. I'll do it. Four or five miles for like $18. Let's do it. Because they're giving me a dollar a mile for those other fucking things and then throwing my 14 on top of it. I'll do it. Let's go. That was that little quick trip right there. 1894. I mean, he basically said he lived about, you know, 1.6 miles away from the club. That's where he lives. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I just uh, had to close up and everything else. I was like, well, that was pretty quick. He's like, yeah, I was sorry the ride was so short. I said, no, no, I'm cool, man. I like the short rides. Trust me. I'm not bothered at all by short rides. So he was like, man, most people, they don't want to pick us up because it's not a long ride. Like I said, and that's what I, hundreds, look at that, not even three hours, not even three hours online, not even three hours online, $172. Like I said, and that's a lot of riding around on Uber Pet and shit like that. $172, not even three hours online. Man, this shit's going way too well. This is going scary well. And they trying to give me some more shit. They just had me try to do a $9.84 ride for like almost 10 miles with a $1 surge already on it. I was like, nah, I'm good on that shit. So I'm online over here now. So that's it. I got what 170 plus about this 156. Yeah. So I'm up around about 320 bucks. I don't know, man. Maybe I could fuck around and get 400 tonight. I don't know. It'll be it'll be different. It'll because like I said, I'm not really pushing too hard for the shit right now. I'm just kind of letting everything come to me. Wait, 275 is right behind me. All right, let's do a U-turn and go get this 275. I mean, it's like it's free two dollars and seventy-five cent. That pays for my fucking donuts. I just ate those donuts for two dollars and nineteen cent for two donuts. This is my two seventy five for those fucking donuts I just ate. Let me go get this two seventy five. This is my donut money. Call it the donut dough. I need donut dough. Please, Lyft, send me some donut dough. Here's two seventy five. Keep to drive. Oh, you motherfucker! You just took my donut dough, you raggedy bastards. Well, guess what? We're gonna go over to fucking Uber real quick because I know Uber's got at least a dollar. Let's go over here. Uber had at least a dollar sitting there. Bam. What does Uber got? Nothing. There's no money left nowhere. I don't have any donut dough. God damn it. All right. Well, 625, tell you what. It's time to go north. Time to go north. I didn't pick up that opportunity, did I? Did I pick up that opportunity? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel that opportunity. That was the one right there at 984. Where we going? I don't know where the fuck we going. I don't know where we going. North, south, east, west. I don't fucking know. You know, I'm gonna turn this shit off real quick. That way they can't give me nothing. You can't give me shit now. Because if you don't tell me where we're going, I'm... And that ship said, you know, it wasn't enough. It wasn't even two dollars a mile. It was like a dollar something a fucking mile. Not worth my fucking time. So I just turned that shit off, you know. And they'll probably find a ride on Lux or something like that. We got a little surge way up here. I need to go in here real quick. Opportunities. Let's get rid of this motherfucker for twenty bucks. Let's cancel that one because I'm not gonna be able to do it. Cancel it. It's way too far. Cancel trip. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going that far. Because once I leave this area down here, I'm not coming back. So, yeah. Sign up for all this bullshit. Eh, there's nothing in there. 
that's where I want to go right there, the 625. See if I can pluck a couple of rods out of there. Because I'm headed back home anyway. It's 2.57, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to make it till 5. I'm dead. I'm tired. This shit's, like I said, I'm over this shit now. Ain't nobody fucking tipping. And, and it's not a big deal that people tip as long as I got surgeon shit like that. But it's a simple fact that motherfuckers ain't really appreciative of this shit any fucking ways. I'm just out here for nothing. I can go home, start working on some YouTube shit. Because like I said, YouTube is the full-time job. For all you motherfuckers that want to create content, trust me, YouTube is the full-time job. Because when I'm not doing driving and when I'm not out in these streets making money and doing maintenance on my car, I'm doing edits. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of people. I'm always busy doing some shit over there fighting and shit all in the street yeah but i'm busy i'm always doing edits i'm always working on content i'm always doing something it's a full-time fucking job okay it's about what three o'clock in the morning and all the surge is over here in tempe but i just saw something cool this little shit this challenge i need 11 more rides to get 45 then i need five more to get 15 so if i do 16 more rides i get like 60 bucks if i do 16 more rides i didn't know i was that close to the shit but I got till, I think, tomorrow or something to do it. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I can make that. I can really make that. I just got to drop down a lift and do a whole bunch of shit trips. I might do that on the last five. I might do the, the shit trips on the last five. I'm not going to sit there and, and drop down just to get this fucking stupid shit. Nah, fuck that. So hopefully I can get some good rides over here. Like you can see shit everywhere. This little shit trip. Where that's taking me to? Where's that going to take me to? Uh, up Mesa. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that shit. I'm trying to end up way over in Tempe over here. So that's like seven miles for fucking 625. Not really looking forward to that. No, no. Let me get out of this shit. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. So if they give me something that's going to take me to Tempe, I might take it because I can just add that challenge money to it. But that's where all the surge is right now. It's jumping like a motherfucker over there. And that's where I'm headed to. I might have to stay out till five and see if I can knock out that shit. Yeah, right off the bat, Uber's into some dumb shit. Right off the fucking bat. I don't even have Uber Pet turned on yet. Let me, what is this surge looking like right here? 650, let's turn on Uber Pet and go get this 650. All right, we'll turn on, we'll turn on Uber Pet, go get the 650. See, that's why I had to turn on Uber Pet. Look at that fucking 11 miles for goddamn 1074. So you got to turn on Uber Pet and get away from that shit real quick. So I'm going to go over here, drop down, pick up this surge real quick. Do I got to go back to those apartments? Because I think those are those apartments I dropped in. No, because that was somewhere different. All right, so I could just drop down here, cruise down, cord the end, pick up the 650. The 650 is all around there. So I can go pick that shit up real quick. Uh-oh, what is Lyft talking about? <sighs> $12 go the opposite way? Yeah, I'm not going that way. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going in the opposite direction. See, they they got me going away from surge and they're away from everything else. So I'm like, yeah, nah. So you got to sit down and plot this shit out. You can't just be out here, like I said, rolling around nilly-willy and shit, doing everything under the fucking sun. These apps are looking for that type of motherfucker. Somebody who don't know what the fuck they doing. They looking for that shit. Okay, let me drop down a little bit. Because they just, when I'm online, they're like, this dude drive like he got fucking purpose. This motherfucker know where he going. He knows what he's doing. I don't chase all surges like I was at that $15 when I was driving. I said, well, I got the 950. I'm cool with the 950 because I don't want to go get the motherfucking 15. And as soon as I was driving, I got the 950. I U-turned to come back out the lot or whatever. I was on, on lift, turn around. They took the fucking $15 away. I went north to go get my motherfucking donuts. They threw 14 up. That's how shit works out. You got to kind of preempt it. You got to know how these apps work and kind of preempt the shit. And a lot of motherfuckers don't want to preempt it. They just want to pretend that they know how the shit work. Look at that, $13. Man, hell no. That's a package. That's a, all the way to Santa. $13 for fucking 23 miles. With a 350, man, and a driver took that shit. These raggedy motherfuckers, boy. It ain't no fucking way you're going to catch me. 425, all right. As soon as we hit around this fucking bend, I should get this 650. On, if it gets up to at least six, I'm good. Try this real quick. Now let's go put it on regular Uber. Hopefully they don't try to send me a fucking Santan. You want to go to Santan? You want a backhand? Motherfucker, don't send me down there. Fuck that shit. I'm not going to no Santan. All right, so now I got the five bucks. Let's see if they're going to give me something. Let's say, 
Uh, I'll do eight dollars two miles. What was that? Seven miles for that? All right, let's see where we end. We still got the same five fucking dollars. Let's see if I can get out of this parking lot right here. Okay. See if we can cruise my ass right around on baseline. Go down here, see if I can get some money on baseline. There's a few little small bars down here. So I'm headed towards, you know, Tempe, trying to get my ass back home. Like I said, it's three o'clock. I'm basically done for the night. And I'm just trying to fucking pick up some spare change on the way fucking home. I'm digging in the couch cushions right now. That's Uber right now. Uber ain't nothing but some motherfucking couch cushions. I'm just digging in the couch cushions, trying to give me the last fucking couple of dollars. Man, let me see if I can give me some money. Go give me a fucking Gatorade. Look at that ass motherfucker. I'm going to go see if I can go give me a big gulp. Let me go see if I can find me some extra change. Go give me a motherfucking Slurpee. That's the kind of shit they try to send me with a $5 surge. It's like 13 miles. That's the kind of shit they be trying to send motherfuckers. And some people be taking that shit. Like it's a $5 surge, man. What the hell? Because they dropping the fare all the way to the floor down damn near 50 cent a mile. They dropping the fare down to 50 cent a mile. Just so they can say, hey, now we're going to give you a surge on top of that. Then you're not really giving me a surge. What you're doing is you're supplementing the fucking fare. It, they need to call it fare supplement. Quit calling it surge and call it fare supplement. Because that's exactly what it is. You're pulling the fucking fare out. And then you're going, hey, we're going to supplement the fare with this much. Yeah, that's not a surge then, is it? Like, motherfucker, we know what sur surge means in addition to. It's a bonus. But when you do a fair supplement, you reduce the fare, but say, well, we're going to give you a little extra just because we reduce your fare down. That's what that shit fucking means. These motherfuckers think they slick with that shit. It's been all right. It's been all right. The day's been okay. I appreciate the fucking effort. You know, Uber and goddamn Lyft was going at it today. The motherfuckers, you know, Lux and Uber X is running neck and neck all fucking day. But Lux fucked up because Lux tried to fucking, you know, twice try to do, well, Uber tried me once. They gave me a trip with zero fucking mile destination, but then Lyft got me to go to fucking Champ Sports, the goddamn shoe store, in the middle of the fucking night. And, you know, I would have went and took the money and been stuck up in Tempe all night, so maybe it helped me because I went the opposite direction and I ended up somewhere else. What was that? Scottsdale Road? No, fuck that. Look at that shit. $20 for 20, $19 for fucking 17 miles. Ain't nobody trying to go way the fuck up there. Nope. With a five dollar surge on it, nope, we're cool on that shit. Cool on that. Cause these motherfucking apps is out here playing games with people. Twelve forty-five for eight miles. Oh shit, man, that's eight miles. Twelve forty-five for eight fucking miles. Look at that shit. Twenty-five miles for twenty dollars. That's with a five dollar surge. Twenty-five miles for twenty dollars with a five dollar surge. <laughs> you okay? Look at that. That shit right there is on some other shit. All right, I'm pulling the plug on my night. I'm done for the night. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do anymore. So I did the 126 on Lyft plus that $30. So about 156 So I came out with 172 Seven trips, 172 And I did that. And I was only online about three hours with them. You know, the 172 plus the 30 on that Venmo puts it at um, 20 Yeah, 202 so that's 202 then you add the 126 on the lift app so you sitting around at about 328 dollars and i must only drove maybe tonight i would say about three four hours total that's it okay now if you made it this far through the video you're gonna get a little bonus youtube university bonus right here that was all saturday sunday only had a reservation so this is how you get surge added to your reservations. Pay attention to what's going on. A lot of people are on my videos that don't watch the whole video and they'll sit there and go, oh, well, how are you keeping uh, the, the reservation surge? How are you keeping the surge on your reservation? They don't watch the whole videos. I show everything on these videos. I show it all. So if you see people in the comments asking that shit, that's for people who don't want to take the time to watch this shit. I'm already recording it for you. I'm not going to keep repeating myself over and over again. I record it. I put it in videos and the people that actually watch the videos, they get this information and they go out and they get this money. It's the people that sit around. Oh, I don't have time to watch no hour video. Well, fuck you then. I mean, if you don't got time to sit and watch the videos that I take my time to edit, create, put online, upload, make sure they're professional sounding. 
then fuck you then. You don't need to know how to make the money. So don't be in comments going, well, how are you doing this? You ain't watched the video because it's in the video. Oh, well, I don't have time to watch all that. Fuck you then. Stay broke. Okay, it's Sunday, and I wasn't even going to record, but I'm doing reservations right now. I just, because I didn't want to record Sunday. I woke up late. I didn't. But anyways, 1876 was my reservation, but I had a $4.50 surge on it. I'm like, okay, I had a $4.50 surge, and you can see what the time was when I picked it up. It was 3.51 when I picked that surge up. At 3.53, two minutes later, my reservation screen engaged. So now I'm engaged on the screen, and I'm like, okay, so I need a 4.50 surge. They didn't give me the surge, as you can see. It was the fair, was uh, 26.82, my part was 13.02, the reservation fee and the service fee. So I ended up getting 18.76. I didn't get my money. So I contacted the ass and told him, hey, man, y'all didn't give me my surge or whatever. Like, you can come through here. And you can see I was like, hey, man, 450 missing from my trip. They said, okay, we'll be reaching out, whatever this and that, all that shit. So he was like, is there a better way we can assist you, all this, your patience? I was added the amount of surge to your fare. So they added the surge to my fare thanks to the patience and input and everything like that. And they said, thank me for being a diamond driver. I'm not even a diamond driver. I'm like nothing. I'm not even gold right now. I'm nothing. Thank you for being a diving driver. But this is what the, the funny shit was. When they added the surge, this is what it came out to be. Instead of $4, they made my surge $20. Instead of a $4.50 surge, they gave me a $20 surge. My fare is still the same. They moved that up to $47.11. They gave me a $20.29 surge. Reservation fee. The service fee was higher than a damn reservation fee. The reservation fee was $13.80. They moved their service fee up to $14, and it used to be $8. So how did it go from $8? They jumped the reservation fee all the way up to $14. I mean, $13.80 is the reservation fee, but they jumped the service fee from $8 all the way up to $14. So they added $6 to the service fee. So they added the, the money to the service fee. I think it was what? Yeah, it was about $6 and something they add to the service fee. But they moved me from a $4.50 surge all the way up to a $20.29 surge. So instead of me getting $22, I end up getting $32.96 just by contact and support about them missing my surge. When you have a reservation, you get your surge. Don't let these motherfuckers tell you don't. At 351, I picked up that surge. So I should have had that 450 surge added to my trip. They didn't add it. As you can see, three minutes later, two minutes later, my my trip radar engaged for the reservation they didn't give me my shit it was like hey you got 18 dollars. there was no surge on there fuck that they put that four dollar fifty cent on there but they gave me 20 bucks contact these motherfuckers if you have a service fee i mean if you have a, a surge contact them because they owe that to you on your reservation and sometimes you think you're gonna get four dollars and fifty cent you fuck around and get twenty dollars just for contacting them you don't have to subscribe, but at least check out the next video. You might learn something that'll make you some money.